just going to do an extended three stage breathing space. So we're going to spend a little time on each of the three stages. So initially it used to be called a three minute breathing space and each stage was one minute, but we're just going to extend it out. So just coming to settle. Just maybe just giving yourself a moment just to settle in the body, connecting with the breath, just coming to the present. And then we're just going to do the first stage, the awareness. We're going to start with the awareness of the body. So just check in with your body. How is it at this moment in time? Not wanting it to change it, not wanting it to be different, just being curious. Maybe almost like it's the first time you experience the sensations within the body. Maybe there are areas that might feel a bit achy or stiff or uncomfortable. Other areas that might feel warm and comfortable and safe. Just being curious. This moment in time, how's my body? The areas that may be a bit tingly, areas that are numb. Are there areas that are hot and cold? And does your temperature vary across the body? How are the shoulders? Is there tension in the shoulders or the jaw? How is my body at this moment in time? And then just moving on, just to sense, how are my emotions? How are my feelings at this moment in time? Maybe there's one strong and overpowering emotion. Maybe there's lots of little ones, almost like layers. Maybe feeling a bit blank or numb at the moment. Just, just allowing them to be, just being curious. What are the emotions that are here this moment in time? Just accepting them as they are. We don't have to be different. It's just how it is at this very moment in time. Might be positive emotions. You feel positive, happy, joyful, calm. But there may be other emotions that are more difficult feelings, anxiety or low mood or anger, frustration, and just being curious. And then just seeing how these emotions or feelings maybe connect to the body. So when you're aware of the emotion, the particular sensations in the body, maybe the belly or the chest or shoulders, just noticing there's a link between the emotions and your body. Then just moving on to thoughts. Again, just noting what thoughts are there at the moment. Maybe your mind's going into the future, maybe worrying about the future or planning. Maybe it's going into the past, and ruminating, maybe wishing things were different, or maybe just an alternative present with daydreaming. But just noting what are the thoughts that are currently in my mind. Again, you don't want to be different or to get caught up in thinking. You're just noting what's going on at this moment in time. Maybe they're linked to what was happening before you started this practice. Maybe they're linked to what will happen afterwards. And then maybe just noticing that your thoughts connected with the emotions. The emotions are there now, your thoughts connected to them. When you start worrying, there's a sense of anxiety. Then you have reminisce about the past, maybe a sense of happiness or sadness. Just noticing how they connect. 
and maybe how this connects to the body as well. The connection between the mind, emotions and body. So we've just really just checked in how we are at this moment in time. We've come to this practice. It's a bit like doing a weather check. It's asking that question, how I am I at this moment in time? And then we're moving on to the second stage, the gathering. It's a stage about bringing our attention to the breath. So we're not changing the breath. We don't want it to be different. We're just bringing the whole of our awareness onto the breath. And if the mind wanders, just coming back to the breath again and again. holding our full awareness of the breath. It just helps us to anchor us to the present, to be able to let go of some of the thoughts that we may be able to attach to, dwelling in the past or the future, just coming to the present. Really being curious about the breath and the here and now. How does the in-breath feel? How does the out breath feel? Are the breaths always the same or do they change? Maybe becoming aware of the space between the in breath and the out breath, and the out breath and the in breath. Noticing what happens to the body, that very brief break between the breaths, that still quiet place. Maybe noticing what happens in the body with each out breath. When the mind wanders, as the minds do, just coming back to the breath. Might be again and again, but that's okay. Just keep coming back to the breath, to the here and now. And then we're just moving on to the third stage, the expanding. So just keeping your attention on the breath, but then start noticing the breath and the wider body. What parts of the body move as you breathe? Becoming aware of the whole body. And the body's connection with the outside Maybe sensing in to the hips, the pelvis against the chair, the thighs maybe against the seat, the feet on the floor. Just noticing that connection. Maybe becoming aware of the sense of the clothes against the skin, air against the skin. How does that feel? And then becoming aware of the space around the body. In that space, if your eyes are closed, maybe being aware of just light filtering through the eyelids. If they're open, just shapes and colors, not focusing on anything, just being aware of the shapes around you. Becoming aware of there's a smell within the air. There's a pleasant aroma or unpleasant, just noting it. And then sounds. Not getting attached to particular sounds, but just being aware of all the sounds that are around. Those that are close and those at a distance. Those that might sound pleasant and those that are less pleasant. We're just expanding out into the wider world. And this may be being ready then to move on with our daily life. 